Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you were doing well. We are continuing along Camila Cabello's NPR Live. I, I'm really enjoying these. I, I I think that she's crushing it. I'm surprised, honestly. Actually, you know what? Where? Uh, let me I just want to make. Sure, let me see something really quick. So, uh, I, okay, I was gonna say when I had pulled up my screen, I had left it up on my screen for a couple of days, um, and it still it had like uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand views. And I'm like. I'm surprised this doesn't have over a million views. This is like really quality content. And now that I just refreshed it, it has 1.2 million views. So I'm like, that seems a little bit more realistic. Like this is a this is probably one of the best NPR performances I've seen. Like she stinking crushed it, man. So hope you guys were enjoying the content. If you are, let me know what you want to see more of. If you want to check out my music, it'd mean a ton to me. Uh, there's links down below. And if you want to release music just like I release music, definitely consider checking out DistroKid because you can put as much music as you want out there. Uh, it's how I release music. And what's cool about it is like they're really stinking fast to get your music out there. That's one of the reasons I actually switched back to them because I was using a different company. And not only are they super fast, but they're super innovative where it, you can put your music on all major streaming platforms, but also like they were first to put on TikTok. They were the first to put, be able to get your lyrics on on Instagram stories and get your music on Instagram stories. Like they're, they're really stinking innovative. So I recommend them. Link down below. Save 7% on your first year. This is Camila Cabello. Oh, the new one. That riff is so catchy, man. Yeah, come on, listen to that. How she jumped up. Yeah. Give that two guitars playing the same riff, that's cool. You see that guy got a text while he was drumming? Look at his I watch. Got a text message. Okay, so the one thing I would love to hear, the horns sound great, but they're, I would love to hear big stereo horns. But right now, they're just mixed to the right ear, and I would love to hear them just mix like full like stereo spectrum of the horns. I you notice they match the melody of the vocals? Yeah, come on, harmony. I like the raps, man. Sounds good. Notice the slight change in the melody too. I see that's cool about the live performances. You have freedom to change up the the, the different um, uh, different melodies because she usually goes was well, dressed for a little drama. But she drew a little drama. That's cool. We got another tech message. This guy's popular over there. So, I'm a little curious about this because everything looks live but like if you look at some of the different shots it's interesting because she's going between two different um just as from a videography standpoint like she has her hand on her hip here like watch her hand on her hip watch this it's not not holding the mic okay see look she was from one scene to another she's holding the mic to now higher than the lips, hips, like totally different. Like, oh maybe, maybe. Yeah, cause her it switches actually, cause her right hand's on the, the microphone and the left hand's holding the bass. Then it switches where it's like her hand on the hip. So I maybe, but it's like it's too perfect for 
I see, like, I don't know how they did this because it looks like it's filmed in several takes, but it's too perfect to be not recorded live. Like, because, like, it's too perfectly matched. Like, there's no way. Based on, I've been watching, like, I watch I always, like, I watch for the lips, I watch for the instruments, like, everything's, like, looks like it's synced. So either she is a really good lip syncer, or I don't know how they, because, like, it's two, it looks like it's several different cameras. Oh, And then it kind of cuts to her not, so it's just her dancing. So, unless, unless certain takes they're using from, I don't know. I really actually have no clue how they're doing that. It's so stinking. It like not only like it's it's stinking perfect timing. Here we go. Let me see. Something. So what they might have done? This is my this is my theory. This this is what I think might have happened. I think that they filmed one live version, um, and really focused on her and everything like that. And because it's, that's also a small area, and they have so many camera angles. So what I'm thinking happened is they filmed one live version, and from that live version, that's the audio that they used. And then, because they have so many different uh, instruments that they can shoot to to film, if she's uh, then they, they I think that they probably filmed it like three or four more times to get the extra performances and lip synced and played along to what they recorded, um, and then they went to they they could go to the guitar or the the drums or the mar marimbas or the horns if somebody's not play like doesn't look like they're on like actually playing live. That's my assumption because there's so many camera takes. Um, but I've also, I, I do want to say, I've seen her play live before, and like, I'm this wouldn't be a surprisingly like, like performance like vocally, like she's an insane vocalist. So, I'm, uh, it it probably is pitch corrected though, because everybody does that, uh, even for live performances. But that's my assumption of how what's going on. <laughs> Background harmonies is done so well. Yeah. Come on. Somebody put that E piano up. Bring it up. I want more of it. I want more. Oh, is this the new song? I know there's a live song, or a new song somewhere. So what you're hearing right there, those are actually likely... They could be tom drums, but they could also be uh, snare drums that you actually... So there's a, a little latch on all snare drums uh, where you that actually causes a snare sound. So when you actually lift up the latch, you actually it actually sounds like a tom drum. Oh, that's the end of the song. For the last song. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the unreleased song, I believe, is coming up next. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Best way to support the channel is checking out my own original music. It means so much to me. Like I said, if you want to release music, definitely consider checking out DistroKid. Link down below. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Spend it with friends, family, and watch Jacob Restituto videos. Peace out.